Uh, in this tribute um, about Connor, I'd like to say that he was probably one of the most diverse friends I've ever had and probably one of the closest people that I could ever get to know. He had the most profound impact on people, singularly, individually, that I've ever seen. He made everyone feel more comfortable around him. Uh, everyone f felt like it, they were safe around Connor. He was someone who was so fearless in everything he did, especially when it came to his friends and people that he cared for, which was almost everyone he ever crossed paths with, if not everyone. He brought everyone together, um, whether it was uh, guys and girls, people of all disabilities, of all orientations. He wanted everyone to be together in this. He made everyone feel like his best friend. And no matter what other people thought of you, anything, he thought you, he treated you like you were family. He was your brother? He loved him. Um, I'm gay, and I came out when I was 17, and Connor was the first person that I came out to. Um, it took a really long time. Um, <laughs> he would always send me videos of people coming out of the closet on YouTube and saying how much better it'll be, and saying, Andrew, just, just do it, people will love you more. And Connor was the first person that I finally told. And I know I'm not the first person that told Connor I was gay and came out of the closet, and I think to be the first person is something that's really special, and the fact that Connor had that with so many other people is just amazing, and I'm so grateful that I had Connor in my life. About a week ago, I um, was talking to his roommate from WSU, and um, his roommate said to me, I can't, um, I just know I'll never be touched like I, like I was. Um, again by anybody else and so I asked him why Brendan why is this you know it, uh, people are saying this to me can you please explain to me how he touched you and so he wrote me this he said because he accepted everyone for who they were flaws and all he understood that people were weird strange different and he didn't just tolerate those quirks he loved people for them and seeing him love so many people unconditionally helped me see that it's completely okay to laugh at myself and that being weird and strange is sometimes more than just okay. By loving friends and, and strangers alike, Connor showed me that, that least of all I am able to love myself, and I can never thank him enough for that.